So what we've got here now is no faults, no warnings on the dash. Ignition off, key out, ignition in, system check, all good. Ignition out, back in, on, still all good. Out again, back in, on, still all good. In a minute, it'll show fault. It's because it's on. Been videoed. <laughs> Ain't typical. It's just endlessly done it. Transmission, suspension lowered, F on the gearbox side, part brake fault, now if I do a scan now, it will show loads. If I clear them, it'll make no difference. But if I cycle the ignition off, Nothing else now that's cleared so now we come over to here clear these so clearing all them faults it's reading no faults so how on earth do you work out what's wrong with it? Right, we're into uh, the following week now. I'm about to go work on week. And this is, behind the battery box as you can see, this is what they call the TCM module. And there are cases where the water can run from underneath, drip from this scuttle panel rubber drip down and into that TCM um, telltale sign normally is the connections corroding uh, there wasn't any corrosion in there it was all clean I've um, just uh, given them a clean up myself with some contact cleaner and put some uh, dielectric grease on there just to help it along um, so it's not that so I can eliminate that and probably the rest I'll be doing tomorrow now because it's starting to get dark so that I'll do for now right so battery's been connected now for six minutes got no shorts at the moment no short circuits I haven't genuinely haven't had the key in the ignition yet I'm about to do that now so you will see as I see so key in position one don't want the radio on but nice 
nice tonight worked. Position two. System check. Transmission fault limited gears. That's what it was doing before. thing I can see at the moment that don't seem to be right and I don't see why it would have altered is that I'm showing zero degrees and it's not zero degrees So we've got the uh, transfer case control module out now. That item there. I'm taking it apart by just bending those tabs back. Not put together very well. Not very um, sealed tightly. Considering water can run down the back of the battery there as I explained before. What I found there was corrosion although there was no signs of water actually getting in on this row here this pin right down the bottom there the one in front the one behind it both had a build up of corrosion on them so I've separated that and given that a clean up. Um, couldn't really see any corrosion in the top as I said before. But I have given it a clean up now. And a blast off with some compressed air. Um, now I'm going to do the plugs on the car. Um, see how we go from here. This on 12.7 volts. That's been sitting like that for the last five minutes while I've been clearing my bits away. Um, that was dropping down 12.3, 12.29, 12.28, 12. That is why I did first put the new battery on it, believing that my battery was at fault um, and wasted 130 quid. I mean, the door's open and everything, and it's still... Because I'm putting stuff away. Um, so hopefully, I've had it running and the fault ain't come up yet. But I'm not jumping with joy just yet because I know these cars can be finicky. But we'll see. Keep updated. Well, I've had it running for about half an hour just reset the steering angle sensor so that everything all squares up where it's meant to um, I've on and off many times and I haven't had the fault yet so I'm going to do it now on camera because if it's going to do it it's going to do it then isn't it so here goes 
So we're off. Ignition on. We're off. Ignition on. I'm happy. I believe that that is now fixed. Time will tell, of course, but I'm happy to tell myself that I've fixed that fault. Now I'm going to have some dinner, have a wash, and go to bed because I'm knackered. <laughs> 